hey guys just wanted to go over the new fallout tv show trailer and get into some of the details because of course we would we love fallout on this channel go watch the trailer if you haven't already seen it because i'm just gonna break it down as we go along all right let's just jump in obviously there's not gonna be sound because they play you know that beautiful song in the trailer um but this is obviously walter goggins character uh pre bombs falling um nothing crazy here to really see we just see some you know vault boy bobbleheads nothing too crazy obviously they're in the vault and also the visuals are pretty insane on this like this looks like they ripped it straight from the game which makes me super excited uh, and it seems in vault 33 where this is taking place they have a cornfield we've seen that before uh but that is still interesting that that's how they're growing food and stuff maybe i don't know and that's her dad, the vault overseer, by the way. OK, here he comes. He's doing a commercial for the vaults. Maybe he works for Vault Tech. That's what I'm theorizing so far. Or he's just like a famous actor that they got to do an ad for them. And then we see the OK, right here is interesting. Shady Sands is confirmed. It's it's pretty lore accurate so far. Uh, you can see these guys over here. I think this is the Brotherhood of Steel member, the uh, other main character, because it shows another clip that we'll get to later where they're overlooking this big giant nuke crater is what I would think that's what this is. Uh, but Shading Sands, yeah, confirmed. Moving on. Beautiful. Looks beautiful, though. Vault door. Classic experience. You can climb those mountains. Big tanker. We've seen this before. Um, stim pack. What else we got here? Still just another vault boy. Uh, bobblehead. OK, let's see. Uh, nothing behind her, nothing crazy. <laughs> and this lady's just a classic wastelander. Uh, giving her shit already for not knowing what the hell's going on. Interesting director. We'll see what he can do. I mean, Westworld season one was amazing, so I have faith in him. We're not getting like a ton of insight into what exactly is happening, like what happens to her vault, why she has to leave it. But I wish we got a little more. I'm sure theories will start popping up here and there. Here's the skyline of city. I'm guessing it's Los Angeles. Or the Boneyard. This is interesting. There's we've seen growth, which is not common in uh, Fallout. <laughs> if you guys have played the games. Uh, so, yeah, it's a it's a thing most people will look at and just kind of like gloss over and not think about it. But, yeah, we're seeing foliage and growing plants. That is not usual in the Fallout series. So interesting. Um, I don't know what this gun is. It looks like a pistol sawn off shotgun. So I don't know what that is. Uh, it looks like she got injured. And then we get a first. Well, it's not our first look at the ghoul, but it's a first really like close up look at him. And I think it looks really good. I know it's not. Absolutely crazy. You know, he's not super mutated like the old fallouts and even fallout three looks and new Vegas, but. Definitely more Fallout 4 look, and I think it'll be better to show his like facial animations and things like that. So honestly, I think it was the right thing to do. Uh, what are these little doohickeys on him? Is it just his bandolier? What do we got here? Uh, vault tech plan? Econo savings. So it looks like maybe a vault tech medicine, poison, some sort of chemical. I don't know why they're showing this in the trailer and what it has to do, but I'm, I'm assuming it's important. Did we miss something there? No, we didn't miss anything. OK. Kitty Playland. So she might be in a super duper mart here, and this is where the kids would go to play. 
or this could be like an arcade or something, but I bet it's a super duper Mar. We've seen that in pictures in the trailer. And I bet we get some feral ghouls in there. Oh, we probably don't get feral ghouls. We get this psychotic freaking Mr. Gutsy. Look at these posters back here. This is so Fallout. Everything I see. And he looks amazing. He looks incredible. Uh, obviously, he is a. I forget what you call this. Something in Greek mythology, you know, the symbol of medicine. Hermes staff. Uh, so clearly he is, you know, of the doctor type. Uh, obviously, he's also a little crazy. Bop! Sends out a little, I don't know what it is. Sedative? Sedative? Uh, and then she's down. And what I noticed something that's interesting right here is that that little gun he shoots at. She kind of uses something similar uh, later on in the trailer. So I wonder if she. Well, obviously, she's going to end up defeating this guy somehow, and maybe she takes his little syringe shooter and she uses it. OK. Pregnant in the vault. That's good. Restoring humanity, repopulating the world. OK, we got the Brotherhood of Steel here. We still are not <laughs> steel. We're still not sure if what they're doing, if they're remnants of the old Brotherhood of Steel from Fallout like one and two, or if they're from, you know, Lions Brotherhood that have somehow gone all the way over here with their copy of the Pridwin. I forget what it was called. So it's going to be interesting to see how and why they're even here. And here it is. Here's the ship right here. I cannot remember for the life of me of what it's called, and I'm sure I could look it up and tell you guys. But honestly, who cares? I think it's like the Gwynin or something like that. Pretty cool looking, though. Here we get some power armor. Uh, this helmet's going to do something interesting. Don't know if people like it or they will. It's definitely not like... And I think that uh, child right here, that's either him in the past and that's why he like joins the Brotherhood or that's him, you know, saving that kid. He says right here in the trailer he joined to basically get revenge or to not be weak anymore, which is interesting. He's being honest about why he joined and it's not really a common. It would be more like what a common wastelander would actually join the Brotherhood if they could. It wouldn't be about the technology and the remnants of the past. It would be more about their feelings of now and things like that, their emotions. And there's the there's the. Uh, it hasn't this isn't lore friendly. Currently, as we know, uh, we've never seen the helmets do this. Now, I don't think it's a bad design. It actually makes a lot of sense that the helmet, you know, comes up and comes down. You don't have to take this big giant one off, but I kind of like the mechanics of seeing them take the helmet off and holding it and walking around with no helmets in this big freaking suit. It looks cool. It's part of Fallout. I'm not particularly perturbed by this. Uh, I think it's fine, but I've seen already some discourse on this. I think it looks OK. I think it's fine. Then we got Walter Goggins ghoul. And dog meat, I bet that's his name. Uh, some probably old donut shop or something. Walking the lonesome road. OK. We also know that he's well, we haven't got to that part far in the trailer yet, but he's a chem addict. We're learning that through this trailer. He is definitely a chem addict and he's going through it. Uh, she here's this other guy. I cannot remember his name either. Gosh, it's been a while since I've covered the TV show, but he's important. He's some doctor. I can't remember his name, but here he is showing up in the town again. I think this is the town that's that's built in the junkyard and it's kind of similar to Megaton. And then she comes in contact with him. He blasts this dude. Hold up. Let's go back. See if we can see anything here. No. That's interesting. Nothing crazy. OK, blast the guy. Look at this huge hole and then him standing there. It's hard to see when you're just watching the trailer, but it's pretty awesome. Um, there's her syringe gun. 
Majoon's Sundries. So we got a little, I think that's going to be, yeah, it's this lady. I think it's the crazy lady, the first of the trailer, uh, doing her thing. Uh, is he a bad? Oh no. I just noticed dog meat over here. He's hurt. Look. Okay. So dog meat gets hurt. This could be towards this is either at the first of the season or towards the end, actually, uh, because I don't know if these two are like, I don't know if these two would be getting into it this soon. So it's interesting. Pops him. Here's some interesting stuff. Uh, we got caps right here, so they are trading caps. Uh, and then this is the classic laser rifle that you guys know. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, she shoots him with the syringe. He does not go down. And he says, the best line in the trailer. It's a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. Pretty awesome. So yeah, he's a chem addict, takes a lot of drugs. Here comes the Brotherhood of Steel and bunch of vertebrates attacking or either flying over the observatory. Is that what that is? I don't really know, but that's kind of what it looks like. Are these turrets on top of it? Interesting. And what's all this? It looks like people are living here. You can see them down here. Could be part of the NCR. They do show up in this trailer. Spoiler alert. Here they come. There was the Mr. Handy again. Here's the overseer going through it. A uh, bunch of people are dying. So obviously the vault tech experiment is happening. Something we don't know what it is yet. Why was she wearing that dress? Is this the is this our I think that is our main girl. And here's our dad again. So something bad definitely happens in the vault. These people, I think, are the NCR. I know they don't look like your typical NCR from the games, but I believe that this is what this is. And all. Oh, and there's the. Uh, there's a, a laser pistol. Uh, look at that. I mean, that looks so close to the games. I mean, it's just an exact replica. Amazing. And here's why I think it's the NCR Bop. There's the flag that everyone's been sharing this picture around. So the NCR and the Brotherhood are once again fighting. We don't know why. We don't know how or where, or what or when. Well, we do know when, but yeah, they're fighting and they're wearing the same armor we just saw on these guys back here. Similar armor. So those people are the NCR. Here comes this lady waving the NCR flag going crazy. Here's a Radiation King, the TVs. That is amazing to see so much detail put in here. Uh, fun fact, also, these are the same TV sold in The Simpsons. I know that because of my Fallout Easter egg video, so pretty cool. And here he is. He's an actor. He's in a movie. It's kind of interesting. He's watching himself. What the heck? I think this is a dead person on the chair back here. And he probably just he probably just shot up the place and he's just chilling out now. Good for him. Uh, it's going to be cool seeing, you know, before the bombs actually fell again. I know we saw that a little bit in Fallout 4, but it'll be interesting to see it in this TV show. He probably loses his daughter. It's probably why he's a little aggressive these days. Here we see a Yao Guai. Cool to see it fighting in, you know, against someone in power armor, probably our main character here. Uh, looks good. The CGI looks really good. I'm still thinking this is at the end because this looks like it's we're still in the junkyard town. I forget what it's called. And here comes our other main POV in the series, and he's fighting, you know, the ghoul character. Dun -dun -dun. Uh, I don't know what this is. It looks like a giant salamander thing. It could be the things from uh, Far Harbor, potentially. I can't remember what they're called. The gulpers. Yeah, it kind of looks like a gulper. So maybe that's what it is. Who knows? Looks amazing, though. Dog meat. Some guy getting dragged away. Uh, what is that that he's sticking in his neck? Maybe it's chems. Maybe it's. I don't know. He's got some sort of device that goes directly links into his spine, maybe, or his cerebrum. I don't know what you'd call it, but he's definitely popping something in there. Make himself smarter, maybe. There's the super duper Mar, and she's traveling with him at this point. See, 
and they're not killing each other. So I'm guessing they're fine at this point when he finds her. I don't know. So you probably kill some bandits. They both do some raiders in here. And that's when he watches his movie and puts his feet up or puts the dead dudes. Here he is taking some friggin. I don't know what it is. Could be any of the chems. But he's lapping it up. Here's something interesting is the Brotherhood of Steel's like under armor, the flight suit kind of stuff. And it looks pretty good. Normally it's orange in the games, uh, but we have seen it red in Fallout 3 with the like scribe outfits. So I don't know, maybe it's just their own take on it, but it looks good. Looks pretty lore accurate. Here is the city skyline and then the nuclear bomb pit. I'm not sure why they're here. The radiation must be off the charts in this specific area and they're just chilling. So maybe it's not or maybe they have a bunch of radix or something. It's interesting. And then she also has a the classic pistol on her hip. Uh, and then we see a little bug stomp in action. That's a tough frame to get. Uh, Squash is a rad roach. Here's the power armor. I don't think he's in it actually right now. Could be. But look at the arms. It looks like it's just standing. And this looks like it might be pretty far in the season because she's got the she's got her vault suit kind of, you know, taken off and she's rocking the more wastelander look. Uh, then here's the power armor in the vault. My personal theory is that it's not the guy character that we know of that wears the armor. It's actually her coming back to the vault. I wonder if something bad happens and then she has to come back to the vault to help people save her dad, something like that. I think it's her and you can see the Yao Guai scratch mark. So, you know, it's his suit. Uh, I think, OK, this is crazy and I don't I might put it in this video or I might not. I'll throw up a little image, but there's a T-shirt that came out and it says something about like vote for Bethany or something. So I wonder if they're voting on two overseers and this is Bethany right here. And maybe that's what causes like this. Maybe there's something to do with that. That would I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Here they are talking, chatting. Someone gets. Oh, a bomb goes off over here and then someone gets obliterated in here. Who knows how? What is that? What does the cake say? Congrats. OK, it's just a cake that says congrats. Dog me getting shot by the turret. The turret looks great. We went over that last time. Uh, these two might be forming something a little more than friendship, guys. Something a little more. And then here she is in her Wastelander slash Vault Dweller outfit looking pretty messed up. And you can hear the ghoul call her your killer now. So, yeah, she's she's going through it. We know how that feels. We know. And boom, fallout, baby. OK, so. Uh, not much going on, you know, I mean, there's a lot in that trailer to unpack, but as you saw, we went through a lot of the finer details. And I think there's nothing too crazy to lead us on into some wild theories other than, you know, the ones I spoke about. I know this wasn't the most broken down slide to slide trailer. But I just wanted to go over it with you guys because I just love Fallout so much. I don't really do like detailed trailer stuff, but I thought that was fun to do. Anyways, if you guys love Fallout or you enjoyed that and you want to see more about Fallout, then definitely subscribe. We have tons of Fallout content already on the channel and we're going to have a lot more in the future. So thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Have a great week. See ya.